let's start start solving this problem we will take the same example here as we discussed before so the text one is a b c d e and text two is a uh, c e let's compare the first character now we see a and a these two are matching so it means that now we have already got one character of length one which is matching and has this common subsequence so here we can write it that at least we have got one character which is which is matching and now we can divide this problem into sub problem that now we only need to find the, the longest common subsequence between this remaining substring starting from b b b c d e and c e right so the same formula we can write it here as say for example we have got lcs for the whole long uh, lcs is for longest common subsequence for text one say a b c d e and text two as a c e we found that the first character matches so it means that it would be one plus the remaining substring that is left if that is b c d e and c e right so this is the first breakdown of the problem when the character matches now let's look at the remaining problem that is lcs b c d e and c e now here we see that b and c they don't match right so it means that now we have we can break down into that either this lcs would be between b c d e excluding c it should be e because anyway b and c are not matching that's why the breakdown of this problem is that whether the lcs would be between b c d e and e or between c e and c d e so either of these two sub problems would be would be giving me the the next longest common subsequence of the sub problem and it would be the max of it because we are looking for the longest one so it should be the max now again i can use this formula here for the for this lcs part uh, lcs b c d and c d like this i can take this and uh, this formula is equal to max because we are looking for the longest common subsequence right so it should be b c d e and because b and c the first is not matching so it should be this e sorry e it should be lcs of this max lcs of this or the other sub problem is c d e because b and c c are not matching and c e okay so again just go through go through it again that suppose if the character matches it means that we had found at least one character and we can break down this problem as one plus the remaining of the substring in both the text b c d e and c e and if the character don't matches then it could be the maximum of c e and c d e or b c d e and e so this is how we can uh, now see that the algorithm has been broken down into the sub problems and this is the algorithm that we, that when we uh, check or break down um, by matching the characters if they match we use this first one and this and if it doesn't matches then we use this now let's look that how this problem is breaking down into nodes uh, in the form of a binary tree for example here is our original problem and then when we found that this is break down uh, into this smaller sub problem uh, so it's so let's create this tree 
it's breaking down into this LCS as first. And after that, this is broken down into two sub problems, which is this, this, or this other one. And now if, again, if I keep on going through this, I'm in LCS CDE, we see that C and C are matching. So it means that it would be one plus LCS of D, E and E. And similarly here, B and E are not matching. So it means that it will be broken down into maximum of C, D, E and do, we don't have any remaining or E with C, D, E. So this is how it will keep on it will keep on like breaking down into nodes or like one or like having a single child. But the idea is that right now we can see that the problems are repeated uh, many a times. It means that the sub problems are overlapping. If we go with this recursive approach, we can see that it's like very much near to uh, solving it into again, uh, two to the power and uh, like a polynomial solution. Now this is how we break down this problem uh, into a recursive approach and we found that the sub problems are overlapping and this is the ideal case where we are going to solve it using a dynamic programming problem.